<laughs> Good afternoon. Please continue eating if you're not a fast eater. Or if you'd like some more, I think there's probably some more food available. Let's all thank Francis for providing lunch today. I think that's all I have, so I would like to uh, have Teresa Embry, uh, one of our board of directors, come up. And as she's doing that, we want to recognize Commonwealth Community Bank and Voyage Technology for sponsoring the lunch today. Thank you, and as always, uh, we are all, always so thankful to be able to sponsor the November meeting uh, each year, and this year we're actually co-sponsoring it with Voyage Technology. Unfortunately, I don't think they could be with us today, but uh, I would also like to introduce some of my co-workers as my guests today. I have Brenda Perkins, Ruth Gary, Diane McGregor, John Sanford, and Brittany Keel, so thank you for joining me with me today. And as this is the season that we always want to give thanks, uh, we have so much to be thankful for. Our country, our state, our county, and of course our military men and women who are serving both uh, at, abroad and at home. Well, this is my honor, and I am so humbly honored to introduce our guest speaker for, the, for today, uh, our Miss, our own, Miss Kentucky for 2014, and she needs no introduction, so I will let it go at that, and please just help me to welcome her. Thank you. Well, thank you all. It truly is a blessing to me this close to that time of year where you're so thankful to be able to spend a full week at home here in Ohio <laughs> County. I was very thankful to see that on my schedule. I was truly excited about that. I get to stay with my mom all week and see all these lovely Ohio County faces all week. It's just nice to be home. Speaking of all of you being here, I want to go ahead and say, after becoming Miss Kentucky, it is a rough start as far as getting the ball rolling. And I want to say a huge thank you to all of you. If you were anyone who just gave words of encouragement or financially to me in order to help start this year off, because you all truly made it start off the way that it needs to do. And I appreciate that more than you will know. So thank you all so much. A round of applause to each of you. So thank you. Also, this year is kind of a blessing. One, because I get to go all the way around the state. I did just graduate from the University of Kentucky with a major in special education, and this is probably the best way I could think to network and make connections this year. While I will say, too, I had a wonderful job opportunity to be here at Ohio County High School, once an eagle, always an eagle. It is important to me to be able, as a future educator, to go around and stress the importance of academic excellence this year. And of course, I'm able to pull that in as far as saying, even if you want to be something like Miss Kentucky, education is important because, yeah, the judges saw my grades. They know if you're smart or not. So that is a big part, and yes, it's great to do that. But I'm also able to talk to them about wonderful things such as healthy living because as someone, one, with an autoimmune disease, but two, as an employee of the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, I am able to stress that buying locally and eating those things are a bit more fresh, the good old Kentucky Proud label. It's good for them, but it's also good for our economy. And I know that just within the past couple of years, we have seen the Kentucky Proud label flourish here in Ohio County. I don't know how many of you have actually been to any of the farmers markets that they have in Beaver Dam with that, but I know that former principal John Stoker would be excited to see all of you come through whenever they have those, because they have some great stuff. I know I've even gotten things there. So it's been fantastic. So far, I have been to 72 schools and 18 different counties since September 28th. So it's been an extremely busy journey so far, but I start with number 73 at Fordsville this afternoon, so I'm happy to be able to reach out and touch these great Ohio County schools and just more of our community because I have seen from being across the state so far, we are very blessed to live where we are. There are a lot of other great communities out there, but I can honestly say I'm thankful to have grown up in one such as this. I don't think I could have been raised and grown up in a better place to prepare me for not only this year, but life in general. So I'm very grateful for that this season and every day, and I'm happy to do that. I would like to play a couple songs for you all if you all are up for a little bit of bluegrass this morning to keep you going. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. A 
and I know some of you all are finishing up, so it can be a nice little background music while you do. Uh, being with Kentucky, if I'm going to play a nice soothing song, it's of course going to be the Kentucky Waltz. this year, whenever I do go to the schools, I've been given the opportunity to take my fiddle with me. And of course, being known first as the girl with the green fiddle, long before being Miss Kentucky, that's a true gem for me, because I'm able to educate others about where I am from. And whenever I went to go meet with Commissioner Comer, the Commissioner of Agriculture, and the Deputy Commissioner, Mr. Steve Kelly, the first meeting I had with them, they just said, you're the fiddle player, right? And I said, yes. And they said, well, is your fiddle made in Kentucky, by Kentucky? And I said, well, of course it is, Herman Alvey. And they said, well, then you truly have a Kentucky Proud talent, so you can take that with you wherever you want. You can talk about that and Kentucky Proud, and that's fine. So I've taken that to full advantage because here is one of my favorite parts to say. My hometown, the county that I'm from, Ohio County, is where bluegrass music started. This is where a father of an art, we know that the father of Bill, well, Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass music, is the only father of an art to ever come from the United States. But my way is I get to talk a little bit about Ohio County. And even though we're the fifth largest county in the state, most people don't know because we're mostly rural, but I'm able to tell people a little bit more about our community and what we have to offer and different things as far as the music and tourism possibilities. So I'm happy to do that as well. And um, of course, I would like to continue with that bluegrass and making sure that each kid, hopefully by the end of this year, in the schools in Kentucky has heard it and hopefully grown accustomed to it too. I make sure that I always say, who's heard it? Now, who actually likes it? And most of the time whenever I leave the school, I get a few extra hands about the ones who actually enjoy it now. <laughs> so that's always a good thing to see. But um, one of the favorite songs that I do enjoy playing for them out there, and it's one that hopefully get you all woken back up after playing that waltz. I have another one for you. Just go to old Ragtime Annie. <laughs> I'm sure you know which team that I'm normally for. But yesterday, I wanted to show just a little bit of all-state love, and I made sure that I wore some nice Louisville colors for an event in Louisville. 
Mr. Lewis, I'm hoping that you saw that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I also want to let you know that Wednesday I'll be looking for you because I'll be wearing those colors again because they're actually Wayland colors. That's and uh, that's where I went to elementary school, but I'll make sure that I find you at some point and you can get picture proof that I wear those colors sometimes. <laughs> okay, good. But there is a UK game tonight, so to end out what I'm doing today, I'm going to do the same song we do to end all UK sporting events. Good old Mo, Kentucky home. Carpenter, Miss Kentucky 2014, Ohio County Proud from the Ohio County Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much. Judy, Judy has a gift for you. Do we want her to pull it out and see what it is? Yes. I'm not good at gifts. But it's perfect. Aww. Thank you all Thank you all for coming today and uh, I hope you will plan to attend the Christmas Gala on December 16th as well as uh, keep apprised of the other events that we're having with the Chamber this year. Any final announcements before we leave? All right, you are dismissed.